Big breaking news coming in from Bihar. RTI activist Rajendra Singh has been killed by unidentified assailants in East Champaran district. 60-year-old deceased was on his way home from Motihari when he was attacked. Rajendra Singh was known for exposing and fighting against irregularities in government departments and had thereby reportedly earned the wrath of several government officials. Meanwhile, Rajendra's family claimed that four attempts were made in his life, made to take his life during the last five years and he had even asked for protection. Now an FIR has been lodged by his wife wherein she has named his brother and nephew as well as accused. Sham Sundar on the phone line. Sham, uh, you know, absolutely shocking. Once again, a whistleblower has to lose his life. Apparently, Mr. Rajendran spoke up very strongly against various irregularities. That on one hand and the family accusing uh, certain relatives as well. So that makes it a bit complicated. Over to you, Sham. Well, yes, absolutely. Now, Rajendra Singh, a well-known RTI activist, was shot dead in Motihari district of Bihar. Now, Rajendra Singh was apparently returning home back from Motihari headquarters when this incident happened. Now, it's been said that he was on his way back home on his motorcycle when all of a sudden motorcycle-born assailants shot him, uh, attacked him and shot him dead, dead uh, at, under the Pipra Koti police station. Now, remember, Rajendra Singh has always been in the news because uh, he, uh, he, he had taken up several cases in which senior government officials were in the dock. Many had been suspended. And now, one, some of the famous cases which Rajinder Singh exposed uh, through RTI was that around 200 fake beneficiaries of the old age pension schemes uh, were exposed, following which they had to return the money and many government officials were also sacked in this case. Now, it's been said that four attempts were made on his life in the last five years. He had also applied for security, but the police never uh, provided him with the security. That is what his family is alleged. But police clearly saying that it is not a case of property dispute as being shown by some, uh, some has been shown. So though the family has named his brother and his nephew mm. also because he had a dispute with them over a piece of land in Motihari. But clearly everyone saying that this is not just a case of land dispute, but it, it is much more than that because... Many government officials were on the dock. Many had to appear in the court because of Rajendra Singh. Rajendra Singh had exposed several cases of irregularities which were happening in the Motiari block in the various government officials, the government offices, which includes the education department and several other departments. So definitely now this case is being seen, taken seriously by the police. The police is investigating. But it's also being said that several police officials were to appear in the court because of Rajendra Singh because he had exposed some cases in the police station as well. And in a day or two, they had to appear in the court as well. So here, even the police stands in the dock. So definitely this is a big case and it also Absolutely. shows that how law and order has collapsed in Bihar. And this is not the, just the murder of a uh, uh, first RTI activist. In mm. the last few months, this is the murder of a second RTI activist. Remember just a few months back, a similar RTI activist who had exposed many irregularities was also, was also murdered in Vaishali district of Bihar as well. Right, so this is uh, something extremely disturbing because here we are talking about whistleblowers, RTI activists being eliminated with impunity. This must be probed and the immediate action must be taken. What does the state government, the police force, the administration have to say? Has, have they reacted? Have they woken up to this situation where you, like you said, this is the second RTI activist getting murdered? Well, the, uh, the Motiari police are clearly saying that they're investigating into the case on the basis of the FIR. They're looking out for the accused, all those accused named in the FIR. They're looking out for them. The, now, uh, remember, this, uh, the wife of the deceased has lodged an FIR against five named accused and several unnamed accused have also been named in this FIR. And the police clearly saying they're investigating into it. They are also using scientific methods to see because as of now, no eyewitnesses have come out to have seen that how uh, Rajinder Singh was shot dead, at what time he was shot dead because there has been no eyewitnesses. It was only after a few people saw a, the, a body lying on the road that it was that they complained to the police. So definitely the police have to uh, has to struggle a lot in this case because there are no eyewitnesses. But police clearly saying that we we'll use scientific methods as well and we will also look at the mobile phones of Rajendra Singh because as to whether he had received any call from someone or was, were there any threatening calls coming to him. We will also try to trace the location of several phones who were in the area at the time. So definitely scientific methods are also being used, but definitely it is a big challenge before the police yes. because if the police doesn't expose this case or doesn't crack this case in a few days, then definitely it is going to be, become a big headache for the state government as well. 
Voices of dissent are silenced, RTI activists are eliminated. What is happening? Bihar again is now going to be under the scanner for this latest killing. There will be questions asked for such a brutal killing of a man who consistently exposed irregularities. He's the one who unearthed several scams. He was constantly under threat, yet no protection was given to this man. And today we have to unfortunately report his merciless killing. Many thanks uh, for joining us, Shyam, with your inputs on this.